In the past, I have made a couple of videos on using workshop maps and how helpful they can be to improve your mechanics. However, recently Steam updated their TOS, meaning you can no longer download maps from the Steam Workshop to play on Epic Games. And I used to use the Steam Workshop downloader and the custom map loader software in order to play them. But with the TOS update, I can no longer download new maps that came out. So as you could probably tell from my console routine video, I was under the assumption that Epic Games players could no longer play new Workshop maps. However, there is another way to download them meaning that everyone that has the PC version of Rocket League can still play Workshop Maps. I was recently informed by one of the comments on my previous videos and this is the method I'm going to be showing you today. So if you were like me and you couldn't download any more Workshop Maps or you just got a PC and decided to get Rocket League, then keep watching this video. I don't want to waste too much of your time so I'll try to keep this brief but make sure it's clear enough for you to understand. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright now, to get straight into it, to play Workshop Maps you need two important links that will both be down in the description below. Now before, the main method I used was getting the URL from the Steam Workshop page and then entering it into the Steam Workshop downloader. And from there you would download the file and load the maps using the custom map loader. However this method you can no longer use because Steam's TOS changed meaning you can no longer download the files of the Workshop Maps. But this new method not only works now, but is even more convenient because once everything is set up, you can download and play the workshop maps while on the main menu of Rocket League. So no more going to multiple different third party sites just to download one map. Once it's all set up, the process is easy. So the first link you're going to need is Bakismod.com. And honestly, if you're on PC and you still haven't downloaded Bakismod, then you're missing out a lot. Baki's Mod is the biggest third party app on Rocket League. This app is helpful in so many different ways and is one of the main reasons why PC players have such a big advantage on console players. It has different free play controls, meaning you can use the D-pad in free play to do all sorts of different things, and unlike the console free play, you can bind each arrow to make the ball do something completely different. There's so many different choices that give you so much freedom and creativity in free play. But not only does it help with free play, it also helps with training packs. You might have seen in my previous videos me talking about custom training variant. And basically this allows you to slightly change the training packs to add more variety to each shot. So one time the ball might go faster or bounce higher and it's all completely random. So using custom training variants helps incredibly with your muscle memory and consistency. Another reason to have Baki's mod and the reason we are going to be using it today is for plugins. Now, I've talked about Baki's mod plugins before in my speed flip video where we used the speed flip plugin to perfect the speed flip. There are so many different plugins that can be incredibly useful and that leads me to my second link which is bakismodplugins.com and more specifically the link to the plugin called workshop map loader and downloader. Now this is the plugin that is going to allow you to download and play workshop maps on epic games. It works very similar to the actual steam workshop but we'll get into that later. So now you have your two links it's time to show you how to set it all up. Okay, so step one, you are going to want to go to the first link, bakismod.com, and download Bakismod. All you want to do is click download now, and then click here to download, and then you'll have your Bakismod setup application. Your browser or antivirus might detect it as dangerous, but don't worry, I promise you it's not, so click continue or disable your antivirus until you have it downloaded. Once you open it, the setup wizard should show up, and all you want to do is press next. However, if you want the desktop shortcut, then by all means click the box there. After that, just press install and it will install it into your PC. Once it's done installing, click on launch Barkis mod and press finish and your Barkis mod will open. Now once it's open, it will say uninjected, waiting for user to start Rocket League. And all you need to do is to start up the game or if it's already open, then close it and restart it. Once Rocket League is launched, it will change to injected and you now have Baki's mod for Rocket League. Now before we do anything with Rocket League and Baki's mod, we want to go to the second link on bakismodplugins.com. Once you are on the workshop map downloader and loader plugin page, you will see a button towards the top right that says install with Baki's mod. So what you're going to do is make sure Baki's mod is open and then click that button to install with Baki's mod. A little window will pop up and you want to click open plugin installer and then this message will pop up meaning your plugin will be installed when you next open Rocket League. I already have this plugin downloaded so I'm showing what it's like to install but using a different plugin instead. However it's exactly the same when downloading every plugin. 
So now that we have all the downloads done, it's time to learn how to download the workshop maps. Now before you launch Rocket League, I want you to load up the Bucky's Mod Injector app, click File, Open Bucky's Mod Folder, and then what you want to do is create a new folder inside this Bucky's Mod Folder. You can name it whatever you want, this is going to be the folder that stores the workshop maps. As you can see, mine is right there, and I named it Maps in all caps. Open the folder up and then copy the file path at the top as shown here and you want to keep that ready as we will need it later. Now it's finally time to launch Rocket League. When you first load Rocket League with Bucky's mod, it will ask you what free play bindings you want to use. Honestly, both settings are pretty good, so if you're comfortable with the Psionics ones, just click Use Psionics Free Play Bindings. But you can always just close that tab and decide later. Now, in order to load up Bucky's mod, you need to press your F2 key and you'll get this menu to pop up on your screen. As I said, there are many things you can do with Baggy's mod, but for now, I want you to press the plugins tab towards the top right. You will see a bunch of different plugins on the left, and the one we are looking for will be called Workshop Map Loader. So click on that, and you'll see a set bind option. Choose the shortcut key that you want to open the Workshop Map Loader instantly. Mine is F3, as it's right next to F2, which I used to open Baggy's mod. After you've picked a key, click Set Bind and then Open Plugin Window. The first thing you'll see will be a new update tab and you can just press OK for this unless you somehow want to change it to French. Now as you can see it says put the path of the maps folder with a box below. And this is where you paste the file path of the folder we created earlier. So if you followed my instructions, all you should need to do is empty what's in the box already and then paste the file path you copied instead. For the file location to work, make sure you put a forward slash at the end of what you pasted and then click save path. And now you have everything set up, so all we need to do now is download our workshop maps. Alright, so you will see at the top there are two tabs called search steam workshop or search rocket league maps.us. And honestly you can choose whichever map, but I use steam workshop because that's what I've always used. All you need to do is search a workshop map, for example I'm downloading dribble 2 overhaul which is a really good dribbling map, type the name of the map in the search bar and click search. Wait a few seconds and then all the maps that relate to your search will pop up. Once you have found your map, all you want to do is click download map and then yes. And then your workshop map will be downloading as shown near the top. Once it's downloaded, your game will tab out and a window will pop up. Wait for that window to close, then just tab back into Rocket League. Then your map will be downloaded. You can find all the maps you downloaded in the map loader tab. Most of the time you have to click refresh maps in order to find your downloaded maps. And then they'll appear. And all you need to do is click on the workshop map you want to play and then you will be in the map of your choice. Honestly, workshop maps can play such a key role in your improvement in Rocket League, and I'm so surprised Epic Games hasn't done anything to support workshop maps for their players. But hopefully that is solved for when Rocket League Unreal Engine 5 is released, but let's be honest, we have no clue when that will happen. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it provided concise instructions on how to download workshop maps. I really tried to make this as brief as possible, but I still wanted it to be easy to follow, so I apologise if the video is slightly too long. If you did enjoy the video, then it would mean so much to me if you could like, subscribe, and comment on what you want to see in the future. And if you want to support me further, then use code one eyed in the support or creator section when you buy something on Rocket League. I'm really enjoying making these videos and seeing your feedback and support is just insane and it helps me continue. So for that, I want to give a massive thank you. But anyways, that's all from me for now. I'll see you guys next time.